Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tim Cady. I'm one of the meteorologists here at the National Weather Service office for Houston and Galveston, here to provide you a quick update on the tropics. So the National Hurricane Center this morning has initiated advisories on what is now Tropical Depression 9, located just off the coast of Jamaica. Um, as the weekend goes on, we're expecting it to take a northwestward track towards Cuba, eventually passing over the western portion of Cuba, and then later emerging into the Gulf as a hurricane. So you can see the latest storm information. This is as of uh, 10 a.m. Central Time from the National Hurricane Center, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, again, the storm is expected to develop into a tropical storm by tomorrow morning, um, eventually moving over the western portion of Cuba and emerging into the southern Gulf by Saturday morning. Uh, by that time, we're expecting further development strengthening into a hurricane. Um, now, we are expecting this storm to impact portions of the Gulf Coast. As it currently stands, uh, we're expecting the storm to make landfall in Louisiana as a hurricane um, late Sunday into early Monday. Um, so while we're expecting more minimal impacts here in southeast Texas, um, this is still something we're going to have to watch over the next couple days for our local area as well. Um, so for us in southeast Texas, um, although we're not expecting the worst direct impacts of this storm at this time, there's still about a 30 to 40 percent chance that tropical storm force winds will impact our area. So those are winds of 39 miles an hour or greater. And the most likely time frame for this to occur would be Sunday night through early Monday. However, it's reasonable that they could occur as early as Sunday morning. Additionally, we're expecting above normal tides along the coast and a higher risk for strong rip currents. Um, so if you have any plans to head down to the beach this weekend, it may be something to reconsider. So bottom line, uh, here's what we know right now and what we don't know. The tropical depression, Tropical Depression 9, is likely to become a tropical storm uh, tonight into tomorrow morning, and then later a hurricane as it moves into the Gulf on Saturday morning. Uh, we're expecting a landfall in Louisiana um, as a hurricane Sunday night into early Monday. The conditions are favorable for further strengthening as it does move into the Gulf through the weekend. Um, locally here, we're expecting maybe some gusty winds, but also strong rip currents and elevated wave heights um, across the southeast Texas coast. However, there's still some uncertainty regarding the storm. So the exact location where this tropical uh, storm forms will play a lot into where it eventually tracks. I and mean, our forecast confidence is going to increase over the next couple of days as we do get a more defined center of circulation that forms as the storm eventually strengthens into a tropical storm and then later as a hurricane into the Gulf. Um, so overall, the impacts that we see here in southeast Texas will be highly dependent on this exact track and the strength of the system. Um, that will still remain fairly uncertain until the center of circulation does develop um, over the next uh, couple of days and strengthens as it uh, heads into the Gulf this weekend. So although, again, we're expecting minimal impacts here in southeast Texas, this is still something to keep your eye on, and you can do that um, a couple of different ways. Um, so I encourage you to um, stay up to date with the latest forecast information from the National Hurricane Center. You can go to hurricanes.gov. Um, or our local office here, the National Weather Service office for Houston Galveston at weather.gov slash Houston. As you can see, um, both offices are also on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll be providing the latest information through those channels as well. Um, so again, just stay weather aware. Um, you know, we're kind of coming towards the peak of hurricane season here, so um, even if we're not seeing the worst direct impacts from the storm, it's always good to make sure your plan is up to date, that your kit is stocked, um, so that if we do deal with the worst direct impacts of a storm this hurricane season, you're ready to take action when it's necessary. Thanks, and I hope you have a great afternoon.